One day I'm gonna be everything I wanna be. I don't let it get the most of me. One day I'm gonna be free. I wanna be everything I'm gonna be. My future right in front of me. One day I'm gonna be free. One day I'm gonna be free, mentally and physically, emotionally and spiritually. One day I'm gonna be free, standing at the crossroads, feeling like a lost soul. Don't know where I wanna go, but all I know. I want to be free, they telling me to let it be, but that just ain't in me, no, jealousy and envy, but all I see is I want to be free, see everything I want to be, exactly what I'm going to be, don't let it get the most of me, eventually I'm going to be free. One day I'm gonna be free. I'm gonna be free. Let me be free. One day I'm gonna be free. Mentally and physically. Emotionally and spiritually. One day I'm gonna be Trying to get a name off me. If they would just let me be, I'm gonna be free. I told them take some chains off me and throw away the locks and keys. If they would just let me be, eventually, I'm gonna be free. Oh, you must watch this video to the end. This may be one of the most important videos you see. We've all been so worried about the TikTok ban known as the Restrict Act, but I need to break down what the Restrict Act is, and you need to share this with as many people as you can. Folks, this bill is nothing short of fascism. Fascism is the absolute power of the state, and fascism regimes have strong centralized state or national governments where they seek total control over all significant parts of society where individuals have to give up their personal needs and rights. Do you want to live like that? Do you want to live like we're in The Handmaid's Tale in real life? And I'm not being sarcastic. Run! Wait till the end. Do you want to live like people in North Korea? We all need to be afraid of what the Restrict Act can do. It's much worse than just censorship and taking TikTok away. Let me break it down. This bill allows the president to choose a secretary of communications who can have closed door meetings and appoint non-elected officials to secret little committees and meetings. And these secret meetings, they decide what you and I have access to on the internet with extremely harsh penalties. Everything has changed. The world is tilted on its axis. Freedom agrees with you. We are not free. You have destroyed my life, my family, my friends, my country, and my joy. No, it's not just TikTok we should all be focused on anymore. It's this entire bill. Airless networks, your local area networks, mobile networks, satellite payloads, satellite operations and control, cable access points, wireline access points, core networking systems, launch short and backhaul networks, edge computing platforms. Oh, I'm not done. It also includes internet hosting services, cloud-based data storage, machine learning, predictive analytics, 
managed services, content delivery services, network-enabled sensors, webcams, home networking devices, unmanned vehicles, drones, autonomous or semi-autonomous vehicles, uh, software designed to or used primarily connect with people on the internet that is in use by greater than a million people, which almost everything is. But wait, there's more. Desktop applications, mobile applications, aka apps, gaming apps, payment applications, web-based apps, AI and machine learning, and so much more, basically everything. They can go through your online shops like Amazon, eBay, Etsy, your instant messages, emails, your commentary and posts, even here on TikTok. So let's say you decide to engage in an activity that they decide behind one of those secret little closed door meetings as part of the Restrict Act. Find her and bring her to me. Like me right now calling it for this bill. Under this act, I could face up to a 20 year prison sentence and or a million dollar fine. So many of you keep saying you'll get a VPN to circumvent the system. Well, good luck because they've already thought about that. And under this act, both you and who you got it from could be facing these fines and this prison time. So what can you do? Go to my link in bio. In my link tree, there is a form you can fill out to send to Congress. You will also see the link that takes you directly to the bill to see it for yourself from Congress, from their website. So for now, under his eye, thanks for watching. Please hit the follow button for more updates. Oh, no. What have we gotten ourselves into? That is crazy. Right. <clears throat> yeah, they um it's a lot of uh a lot of things going on. A lot of things going on. We're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna touch bases on quite a few things. Mm -hmm. But before we before we get started, what's up everybody? What up though? Glad to see everybody here tonight. Archbishop Mike Ball and together the dominant effect. So um we're gonna just hit this straight on. Um I was looking through this <laughs> throughout the throughout the week, just kind of getting some information about it because you know that's what you just do. Just like um just like any bill, anybody who knows anything about about Congress. And how they do those bills and whatnot, you know that um, a bill isn't just a bill. There is always there is always something else that they add to it, which is called pork. It's like the pork that they add to. It. Really, I didn't know that that actually had a term like yeah. that. Yeah. Hmm. It's considered pork. So it's just just the added the added stuff that they add to the bill. So your your initial part of the bill is what they're going to generally talk about that point there and then of course you need you need the house you need the senate to be able to pass it right okay? so now you have okay so say for instance you have two two senators they come up with a bill okay well they want that bill to pass so what they're going to do they're going to go and they're going to try to get these votes on a bipartisan basis you know what i mean so you know, all these times that you hear about you thinking that Republicans and Democrats sitting there fighting the whole time. That's a lie. That's they're not working they together, do. man. <laughs> right. Working together. Two wings of the same bird. Mm -hmm. So so what they do is that they go and they basically lobby these other senators. Like, hey, I need you. I need your vote on this. Bill. You need to vote no on this. You need to vote yes on this. Here's money. Exactly. Vote no. <laughs> right. So so they'd be like, OK, well. I vote for it, but you know I'm gonna need I need seven million to go to my go to my state for uh, X, housing. Y, and Z. Could be anything. Okay, cool. You got that. So then they they add it into the bill, and then so before you know it, that bill that was only twenty pages long is now two three hundred pages long because they keep adding stuff into the bill. Damn. Okay? So so let's. Let's dive into this actual TikTok bill. A lot of people done heard done heard about this, uh, about them trying to ban TikTok. And you know, there is there is several, several states that has kind of trying to trying to actually ban it, you know. And then um when we was talking earlier, when they passed that that spending bill in December, mm -hmm. they put it in to where all 50 states that you cannot have TikTok on any government devices whatsoever. So they put this bill out with the with the intentions on letting people know, like, okay, 
it's the Chinese that owns TikTok. And you putting your information into it and you giving them permission to have your information and they're taking all your information and they sending it over to China where they're storing all this information. So is this the cell? Because it sounds like the cell. Yeah. So um, and then also if certain things were, you know, the reason why they they banned it from all the uh, government devices is because people that actually had government jobs was doing what? On TikTok. <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, so, of course. Right. So they trying to eliminate that altogether. And they said all this for all these months that that was a, they were trying to keep it to where it was a breach of national security as to why they need to get rid of TikTok. Okay. Oh, so they wanted a whole breach of security just to be able to prove something so they could pass a whole bunch of shit. Not because TikTok was an actually a threat. I understand. Right. So, well, to them, it is a threat. Because well, to them, because it's you, you got don't want the Chinese to know your business. You know what I mean, so of course they use that as so. Yes, it is a threat to them. Okay, um, so this is the first part of the bill. Okay, and it says to protect the national security of the United States from the threat posed by foreign adversaries, controlled applications such as TikTok and any successor application or service, and any other application or service developed or provided by ByteDance LTD or an entity other under the control of ByteDance LTD. So now who are they? Now ByteDance is the is the um the company that owns TikTok. So okay. So is it like an sure investment? Of, right, like, right. It's just like, right. It's a group. Gotcha. You know, but but you have one that's actually the, the CEO of TikTok. Um, some of y'all may remember back back not too long ago, they had Senate uh, majority hearings and they had him there um, basically standing up for TikTok as the reason why, you know, and he said on there that, you know, they don't release information to, to anyone, to any foreign entities or whatever. But of course, they like, OK, you know, you you're a Chinese company, you know, what I mean, based in China. So, you know, that. If they come to you and they say, I want this information, you're going to give them that information. Okay. So that's where they're going with that. Now, it's not only for TikTok, though. It's for any, it's for any app that has at least 1 million people on it. So it's, it's like not every just, single application out there. Right. So it's not just TikTok. So like I said, they making it by like they saying the TikTok bill, but it's not just TikTok. Mm -hmm. right? It's for any app that has at least one million people on it. You know, any, so app. any app. Why any specifically app. a million people? You know what I mean? Like, why would they specifically go? Oh, if it's got this many users or more. You know what I mean? That's really weird. Well, I guess they would probably put it that way. No, I don't know the actual answer, but I'm right. just just by guessing, I would think, you know, you would think that any app that hits at least a million is a substantial app. That, you know what I mean? That a lot totally. of people that's are, true. You know. So um so let's talk about the other part. Let's talk about the 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 port that they added to this bill. Right. So um what they added to the bill was, it's kind of, um, hmm. let's go back. <laughs> let's go back. Um, back during 9-11, okay? I'm, I'm, I know everybody that's watching this show knows knows about 9-11. But back during 9-11, 45 days after 9-11, George Bush signed a bill known as the Patriot Act, okay? And the Patriot Act was basically a bill that gave the FBI NSA um, power to go and do multiple surveillance on basically anything that they wanted to do across the planet. They had it was an, an, originally it was a whole global thing, right? Right, right. So they could go, they could go and capture information from from anything or anybody throughout throughout the globe. Okay. Right. Now, um. This went from, you know, from wiretaps. This went from 
getting your your actual information, your banking information, credit scores, all oh, of that. Shit. Okay. Um, they had a thing with all the major phone companies where they were taking everyone's text messages and emails that was automatically storing them. Oh shit. It was automatically storing them, and then they was using those those messages later on down the line. If they found some other stuff on you, then they could pull up. The text so messages. they could pull it up because previously, a year ago, we went through his stuff but had nothing. But now we have this, and we can correlate this with this. Right. I right. understand. So they came up with a with a operating system that was called Stellar Wind. Okay. And mm -hmm. Um, Stella Wynn would monitor everything across the world and it would pick up on keywords. So if you use keywords in conjunction with each other, it would automatically flag it, right? It automatically flag it, trace your phone, and then start, you know, picking all the information as they seem fit. But they were going a lot of this stuff that they were doing was illegal, okay? Because they were they were pulling up information on people that wasn't doing anything wrong. They were oh, just shit. taking all this information. So they're just getting they, collecting data forever. Right. right. So they was taking it all and they were storing it to be able to use it later on. Kind of like kind of like blackmail offense. You know what I mean? Like I'm gonna hold this back. I'm not gonna say anything. And then later on, I'm gonna find out that you can done something. I'm gonna use that and this. You know, so so to a lot of you that think because you erase your text messages or you erase your email that it's gone, it's, it's never gone. truly gone. It's not gone. They already have it. They already it's stored it, put it in a bank somewhere, and it's ready to go to use against you the next time you mess up. Mm -hmm. So you remember, remember back in 2013, they was talking about a a guy that's uh, they. They was saying he was well, they called him a traitor. His name was Edward Snowden. Remember that? I remember that name, but I don't know uh, where it's from. Yeah, they it was Edward Snowden, and there was another guy by the name of Julian Assange. Hmm. Um both of them, uh you see, Julian Assange is in prison. Um Edward Snowden is now in Russia. He went to he went to the Soviet Union and they gave he him asylum free. there. Free. Right. They gave him asylum there. Well, what he did was that he was a part of this Stellar Wind program. He was the one that put it out to everyone as to what they were doing. That that the government was actually going through, recording all this, taking all this information. So he's the one that actually went out and and told all this. Okay, so um, that was all a part of the Patriot Act. Now, there was a lot of intricate parts into that, you know. So that was the first time that you could actually say that they they nullified the Bill of Rights during the Patriot Act. Because a lot of the stuff that you think that you have freedom to, you do not. Hmm. Because a lot of people, I guarantee you, has not read the Patriot Act to even understand what else is going on the Patriot Act. Now, in 2020, a lot of the things dealing with the Patriot Act disappeared. There was it, it met its term and it's done. This new one here, the pork part that I was telling you about, mm -hmm. is the Patriot Act 2.0. So that's essentially what this is going to be: is the 2.0 version of the Patriot Act. Yeah. So. Um. So they going, they going berserk with it, okay? Because what they're doing is, is that they're able to get into any and everything that you have that possesses internet access, a camera, microphone, anything they can tap into, Bluetooth activated, whatever they can tap into it. Now you remember, remember we was talking about this a couple weeks ago when I said they were doing this, that China was doing that. With the toys that they've been right, doing. I remember right. that they were, they were to scan. Okay, this bill, if it passes, because it hasn't went through the Senate yet, if this bill passes, 
any and everything that you possess that contains Bluetooth, a camera, your TV, even, even all the way down to your ringer, to your doorbell ringer, they can tap into without your knowledge. They do not need your permission. And they can pick up all the information that they want to pick up. Now, Terrible. while they have these the, the camera on, so your iPad and your and your computer and your laptop and your TV, you sitting there watching or whatever. And let's just say, for instance, that you having a conversation with someone, and y'all talking about something that y'all shouldn't be talking about. Say so y'all say so y'all was plotting to get somebody, and they overheard it. With this no bill shit. here, they can they can send somebody to your house to pick you up based on what they heard you say. That's crazy. We're gonna lose. We're all going going down if this if this gets passed. This is this is gonna be brutal. So it's already passed the house on on the on the house right, and then right. It's already passed the house. It hasn't passed the Senate yet. But then you got Biden that's talking about well, if it passes, then I'll then, then I'll if sign Congress it. does it, then I'll sign it. You right. Know? Of course he's gonna. Right. Of course he's gonna do it. Of course he's mm -hmm. gonna sign it. You know what I mean? Because that's what happens. You know what I mean? Like we, like we was talking about before. Everybody was always talking about, you know what I mean, Trump did this and Biden did this and Obama did this. Nah, 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 nah. you got to realize that if these two over here don't agree to nothing, nothing goes across his desk. But if them two agree upon it, he signs it. Of now, course. this bill here is a bipartisan bill, which means Republicans and Democrats and independents all agree on this bill. They've all agreed to it. Of course. Now, once this happens, know that your that your freedom of privacy is it's done. gone. It's done. It's and we'll never get it back either. And we'll once it's signed, back. and once it's signed, you cannot go to court and fight and say, "Well, they violated my my privacy." No, you cannot. You can do no court action once this bill is signed at all. This is scary. To, now, I mean, we really are up against something where we may forever lose our privacy because once we sign this off, essentially, it will never regain that privacy ever again. Right. Never. So now, now I will say that not all of the congressmen and the senators agree to what's going on here. A lot of them are coming out um, and telling people not to vote for this you know what i mean for you to pick up the phone call your call your senators of your your state and tell them that you do not want this right so i got a video here of of a congressman um he's a senator senator stephen horsford um it's a little little, little short video yeah let's play it i'm congressman stephen horsford i just voted no on the bill that could potentially ban TikTok. i understand the need uh, to make sure that we have uh, protections in place, particularly for national security. That should apply to all social media platforms. We also have to do more to hold social media uh, platforms accountable related to their algorithms and the misinformation and disinformation in any election, particularly those uh, here in our country. But I'm very concerned about the impact to small businesses, to content creators, in my district and all across the country. In Nevada alone, more than 28,000 small businesses use TikTok in order to promote their business, their products, to help grow their small businesses, and content creators that have used this platform to create wealth should also be owners of wealth. And this is an opportunity for them to have a seat at the table in this discussion. I'm Congressman Stephen Horsford. I'm putting people over politics and the people should be centered on any policy dealing with TikTok. I agree with him right there. And not just because he is voting for what I think is right, but he he puts it out and lays it out very clear. Mm, Absolutely. Right. No. I think I think the content creator has been pushed down as far as possible because really I think that the government looks at content creators as a liability and a threat to this nation to be real because we are the ones that speak up we're the ones that and where does it usually happen it's social media youtube stuff like that people talk out and usually it's been tiktok so 
to me, I see the government is being pressed by these content creators. And yet now they go, okay, you guys are all liabilities, kind of something that I kind of dealt with and go, okay, let's get rid of them. How do we do it? Right. It, okay. it seems very cut and paste to me. Cut well, and yeah. dry. Well, yeah, you, you would think that. But like I said, it's, you know, they're using the fact that they're trying to protect national security. Okay, so if you're doing this bill to protect national security, then why are you putting into the bill stuff to take to take away privacy and the rights of your own citizen? Yeah, that don't make sense. Like if you're gonna do the bill, do the bill for that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So if you want to go out to TikTok, make a bill for that. Well, you know why that you, that's what they're gonna say. That's what they're gonna say to deceive us to use that as like, okay, now we know people are gonna do this kind of thing because of the sell point of TikTok. And then nobody, how often, because the truth is, is I'm pretty ignorant on it. I don't read the entire bill of everything and I should, because that's what they do is they pork that stuff and they put it in. It's it's brutal, you know? And, and this is exactly how they get shit passed and they go, well, we never passed, you know, we never voted on this. Well, you guys kind of did, you guys just didn't know. Mm -hmm. You know, I seen a, a report the other day where they was they were talking to Senator Lindsey Graham, and they asked him why did he why did he vote for that bill? And he said, "I didn't vote for that bill." I said, "Yeah, you did. You did vote yes." And you no. did no, 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 I didn't. I didn't. I didn't vote yes for that. And they pulled it up and was like, "It's right here. You yep. voted yes." Oh, well, I didn't realize that was that was what it was. I voted. For. You know what I mean? So, yep. so you just walking in there, just just hitting, just hitting buttons, and then just walk out. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, did you actually go in there and vote, or did you send somebody else to go in there and vote for you? You know, what at mean? this point, which one is it? Right, right. Now, you know, I don't think a lot of people really understood the thing dealing with the Patriot Act, but, but you got to know that the Patriot Act was one of the greatest unconstitutional acts. Of restrictions of liberty for citizens of the U.S. that has ever been done, and the reason why is because it gave the president executive power to murder, kill, or target any American citizen without due process. He could do whatever the hell he wanted, and to that's do. exactly what the government would want. You know what I mean? Which basically nullifies the Bill of Rights. This is this is what y'all gave him power to do. That's now true. a lot of this now some of some parts of the bill expired back in uh, back in twenty twenty back in twenty twenty. So okay. some of this stuff expired. So now they're like, okay, let's add this in to to pull this back. You know what I mean? So some of the some of the stuff that I like I said they that they're gonna go into. So basically, okay, so you want to sit there that plays your PS five and your and your Xbox One and all them. They can get into it. They can get mm -hmm. and okay. and everything's got a camera link now. I mean, that laptop I'm on right this second. Obviously, I'm on a camera. I mean, everything's got a camera. You know, right. um, televisions now have cameras. Right. So your so your TVs, your cable access, your computers, your, your laptops, microphones, Bluetooth devices, oh. everything, ring lights, your mobile networks, your uh, wireless local networks, everything. If this bill is signed. They can get into and everything. they can go through every single thing dealing with you, and they will do not have to know nothing. Holy shit. They don't so have there's to, no they warrant, don't have to know nothing. They can just go right through. If this passes, they can go right into your shit without asking, without a warrant, and do it. Exactly. Hmm. Exactly. So they can uh, so the president can can basically appoint appoint someone. Okay, as basically like this, um, like this, uh, like this chairman, and not true, by okay. the way. Not Hold true, they, they were we, just we getting ready to get there too because that's mm -hmm. a lot. Um, they they can appoint this chairman, okay, of his choosing, he can pick whoever he wants to pick. They, they are not, these are not elected officials, so they can pick these people, and this chairman picks his, picks the board. And they basically go through everything and they decide what's inappropriate and what's not. Hmm. So, 
you know, they could be anybody. They could be just Joe Schmo off the street. They could be lawyers. They could be whomever. Right. Okay? Whoever they they pick to be there. Like I said, none of these are elected officials. They can be anyone. And so they basically go through everything, go through every app, go through TV programs, whatever. And they did, and they're gonna decide what's appropriate and what's not. Hmm. That makes sense. It's crazy though that somebody that I'll essentially never meet will have the access and ability to go through my personal shit without even stepping foot into my home. Right, right. And That's these crazy. are closed door sessions. So these closed door sessions mean they don't have to tell you shit. Oh wow. Yeah, we're really giving up everything here. Exactly. So let's go back to this VPN that they were just talking about. Sure. So once this bill is passed, it is illegal for you to use a VPN. Now, I use a VPN. I, I use one. Too. A lot of people use a VPN. I use one. If you get caught using the VPN and they catch you, you can get up to 20 years in prison and up to a million dollars in fines. Using the VP. That's no joke. Wow. So now here's the thing, here's another thing about this about this bill is that when they when they started naming different things on it, they didn't put definite names on it. So where you could basically put whatever you wanted to put there. You know what I mean? So um, so basically they could deem any foreign government. Or any person, an adversary, and they don't have to inform Congress about anything that they decide to do. Oh my God! You know which, <laughs> which is <laughs> this which is, goes against a lot the, of control, guys. Right. So basically, so basically, you working in the shadows. You know what I mean? Which goes against the FOIA, which if you don't people don't know who that is, Freedom of Information Act. Hmm. Uh, I didn't know that. So that goes completely against it. Okay. So basically in this bill, they can say, well, okay. Um, you remember back when we was talking about um, how they was marking citizens as domestic terrorists? Yes. Like, like, like if you was in a bike club and they knew you but was in a bike club. They were doing that from, without even seeing you. you. Right. Right. They were deeming you as a, as a uh, domestic terrorist. Right. And people wouldn't so, even know until they got pulled over. You know, right. all of a sudden they're like, yeah, you're you're on the list here. And they're like, what? When? Right. Or you go and apply for a job. And as soon as they run your name, this big yellow sign pops up and says that you are a domestic terrorist. Yep. So with this, it's the same thing. They can deem you as being whatever they want. And they don't have to show any just cause as to why they're doing it. Hmm. No just That's cause so whatsoever. So. Let me play this one right here. And this one here kind of talks about the definition changes that they done put into these bills. Okay. Okay. So everybody pay attention. Secretary of Communications. Internet, you need to see this. You probably know it as the TikTok ban bill, but it does so much more than just that. It actually does more than any bill I think we've ever seen. Here are the main takeaways. Foreign adversaries can change by definition, but a few are already listed, uh, but these definitions can change at any time. So this means they could literally call a group of doctors foreign adversaries. When they loosely define something, that's how you know they're trying to slip control over you. The bill covers hardware technology like modems, routers, and home cameras, and virtual tech like VPNs, and basically bans them if they are manufactured by or used to contact and deal with foreign adversaries. So a VPN is a virtual private network and basically that just allows somebody like me or you to be able to search on Google without Google knowing every little bit of data about us from our computer. Using VPNs to bypass banned apps such as TikTok is made a criminal act under this bill. And the penalty is a minimum imprisonment of 20 years and a minimum fine of $250,000 or $1 million depending if you knowingly did so to access banned content. The bill gives the federal government the power to monitor any activity used by these suspected devices, virtual or otherwise. Essentially, they can monitor what you are doing at home 24-7 without even informing you. This includes things such as routers, video games, streaming apps, smart thermostats, ring cameras, basically anything that uses the internet. Keep in mind, these devices do include your cell phone and Alexa. 
We all know they listen to us anyway by the ads that we see. Just know the difference now is they'll be able to use what you say against you in a court of law. Now the real terrifying part of all of this, as if that all wasn't terrifying enough, is that the bill goes on to state that this will happen by the president appointing a secretary of communication. That secretary then forms a group on their own without any voter input whatsoever. This group can have meetings behind closed doors. They don't have to disclose anything. They can ban and deem anything inappropriate or a risk to security at any moment in time. And if they do, they can go through your instant messages, your emails, texts, basically anything that uses the internet and they can censor it. If this passes, you won't be seeing videos like this because apps like Telegram that allow people like me to tell the truth will be removed. Everybody knows there's good people and bad people in the government. If this passes, which part of that government gets to decide what's content that should be banned and what content should be shown? Think about that deeply. In summary, this bill can effectively ban anything the government deems inappropriate extremely quickly without warning. Ramifications of this range from breaking up mass communication methods to even watching the cameras in your home, aka spying on you. It really is that bad and I am not speaking in hyperbole. We all know banning books from libraries is insane. Now they want to put you in jail for accessing one of the banned books, metaphorically. They absolutely want complete control and they're betting on you being too dumb to look into it. So maybe it's time we all wake up a little more and look a little deeper into everything around us. I know that I do the right thing on a daily basis. I know that I'm perfectly flawed and when I make a mistake, I... Oh, man. That's crazy. Well, that That's was broken crazy. down for us right there. Exactly. I mean that broke it. I mean that broke it all the way down to you. A layman's this, terms. This isn't. This isn't protection. This is control. Totally. You know what I mean. But the thing is, we the ones that elect these people here. You know what I mean. We don't work for you. You work for us. Mm -hmm. How is it that they putting this in? They putting this stuff in place that a lot of people just don't really pay any attention to you, you know no. I mean? because, like i said a lot of this stuff was distraction okay so when did the house when did the house vote on this it's been a while now no they just they just did it here last week but oh, what was going on last week? it was like a month ago what was it that everybody was talking about last week and a week before that mm. in the week before that what you were they talking you wasn't about? talking about this bill here you were talking about trump you was talking about Diddy and all this other shit that was going That's on true. over there. That's, That's true. what you was talking about. So what did I what did I put on the group chat? What's the distraction? Diddy is a distraction. What is it that's go what is it that's going on? I put that on there two weeks ago. Yeah, you did. Not even knowing that this was even taking place. Now you see, ain't nobody paying attention to it. Yep, and that's exactly what they were waiting for. Nobody pays attention anymore. We slide this in. Right. Mm -hmm. Now you can go, you can go to um congress.gov and you can punch in that bill, which is X S as in Sam dot six eight six. It's called the restrict bill. You can go on there and you can pull up this bill and read it yourself. Read it yourself, and you'll see everything that we're talking about here. Mm. But then after you read it, now you need to get a hold to your officials and let them know that you don't want this. Now, of course, you know that when you call them, you, you can't go on there. You can't go on there hooping, hollering, and cussing. You gotta, you gotta be. You, you know, gotta, you gotta know how to speak. If yeah. not, then they're gonna come pick you up when they say that you're making threats. Right. So, so you gotta. Gotta so be you careful, gotta man. It, you gotta tiptoe around everything it. now. Exactly. <laughs> no, but you know, one of the things when I when I was thinking about this bill, this bill, and I was thinking about the Patriot Act, and I was thinking about a a um, a, a quote that that Benjamin Franklin said back in 1755, which makes a lot of sense today. Hmm. And if you really think about what he's saying. Because he said, those who will give up a little liberty to purchase a little safety doesn't deserve, deserve liberty or safety. You don't deserve any. So if you're willing to give this up, then you don't deserve anything. 
You know what I mean? That right? There has to be, there has to be, and they're gonna, they're, there's gonna be a time where you're gonna say, enough is enough. You know what I mean? Enough is enough. We're doing too much. We're doing too much. And when when are we gonna here. actually put a stop to this as a country? I mean, and, and it's a lot of us, you know what I mean, that's sitting here, and you know, I bet you. Just with the people watching, I guarantee somebody be like, "Oh, you know what? That's just some, that's just a conspiracy shit." They're not, they're, they're not really gonna do that. Mm-hmm. Go on there and read the bill. Yeah, go read the bill. Go to Congress.gov. Pull it up. The it's restrict six eight six restrict bill. Pull it up. Read it. It is right there for you to read. But you know what they say, though. If you ever want to hide something from somebody, put it in a book. Mm -hmm. you no, know they're not going to read it. They know ain't nobody going to sit there and actually read that. No, of course. You know, they knew and then that. The ones who, right. And then the ones who who sit there and 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 talk about it and put it out to the forefront for you to, for you to, to know about it, then you're a troublemaker. You're a rumble rouser. You know what I mean? 100%. 100%. And unpatriotic. But on the other hand, you know I mean, how how could you be unpatriotic when you have people that's sitting here that's telling you that they're about to fuck you over? I don't know, I don't know how much more clear this could say. be. You can't be no blunt than that. If you don't say something, I'm telling you, if you do not say something, and if more people don't stand up and say something about this particular bill right here, and you let the Senate vote yes, and they put this into law, you are fucked. Hmm. So and there is no way to get out of it. I got a question, and, and to, to come to this as a completion right here, just to put a pin on it, is... What do we have to do at this point? Do we have to call each one of our congressmen or women and in each state that we live in? You know, what's the solution for the American person? Well, well, um, most most people know. I don't know what everybody knows. But you have two senators in each state. Mm -hmm. okay? So you need to you need to get a hold to. Your representative, your your senator, you need you need to call their offices, and you need to say that you do not want them to sign this bill. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Now and that's literally the strength that we have. Right. Only that right there. So there's not right. much we can do. Well, there's a lot you can do because if you have enough people that call and say, "Listen, I don't want you to sign this bill." Now, if you sign this bill anyway, and you vote yes on this bill anyway, then when your election come up, I'll make sure I vote for the opposite person. I don't give a damn who he is. He could be Chester Cheetah, as far as I'm concerned, but I'm going to give it to them. Mm -hmm. And by the way, Steve, Taylor Park Boy is my one of my favorites. I was just watching that last night. Not even joking. Now, Anyways. you know, a lot of them, you know, a lot of them when they get in them offices, their thing is that they gonna they gonna try to stay there as long as they can stay there. I mean, look, the same people, think about it, the same people who put the Patriot Act in effect is the same people that's in office right now. Mm -hmm. They still there. The same exact ones, basically. They still there. So crazy. Now you done now you done cycled out a couple here and there, but the main like, ones majority though are still there. They still there. When are we going to put terms on on these congressmen? You know what I mean. Like, what? Why isn't there a four or eight year rule? You know, like I mean, I know everyone's been saying that forever, but still, like, who was to make a career out of being a civil servant to the American people, where you're making a hundred grand a year, but then you're buying a ten million dollar house? Like, how does any of that work? People are getting tired of it. Yeah, good question. Yeah, 
I mean, they should actually do the same thing as the president. I mean, the president said yeah. for you. They just keep it the exact same yeah, kind of conditions. You know I mean? Right, you do it, but that's not that's not what they do. And while you think you have Nancy Pelosi that have been there forever, you got Mitch McConnell that have been there forever. You know what I mean? Is yep. the, Rebecca's feeling it too. In Canada, there is an office term. There is no office term. No idea why people let dinos run the. Oh, they have office terms. We do not. That's what it, she's right, saying. Right. Right. So that's why yeah. you got. You know, I mean, half the Senate was there when John Adams was there. Yeah. <laughs> right. Was up in a there. lot of you know them I mean? are have been in office longer than I've been alive. Exactly. exactly. Like what? And what keeps them, and what keeps them there? What yeah. keeps them there? Yeah. The the so, illusion like they're getting voted in each year. Yeah. Exactly. So, like I said, now like, just to go back on what you said, when you was like, what is it that you can do? Yes, you, you can make these phone calls. You know what I mean? And some people be like, oh man, I'm just gonna call that man. They ain't gonna they ain't gonna do nothing. Well, that okay. would have been something that I say, you know, like, well, one guy. I right. mean, I understand if we all did it, then sure, but then you have let's say I do it, but then nobody else follows suit, then all of my my work goes for nothing. But you know, I think that if it gets out there enough to where the American people actually realize, like, oh, this is what you're about to do. You're gonna have all kind of problems. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because everybody gonna be the them phones gonna be ringing off the hook. You know what I mean? Because I mean, you think about it. That means that you can't even come. You can't even come into the privacy of your own home and eat dinner and watch TV and play with your kids or whatever and have a conversation with your wife about whatever. You know what I mean? And she's telling you about you know such and such at the church did X Y Z or such and such at work did X Y Z. They listening to you the whole time, and we allowed it. And if you say something that you shouldn't say, they come into your house. Mm -hmm. I mean, Sick. where does that happen at? Like you right. said, that's 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 fascism. Where where does that happen at? North Korea. That's where that happens at. Yep. Yep. It's a, it's all about control in this aspect. Hundred percent. Yeah. You know, if so, they're saying it's anything else, that's BS. Right, so you you basically take your pick, take your pick mm -hmm. on what you want to do. I mean, so are you gonna keep sitting here, pulling your damn thumbs and waiting waiting for something to happen, or you gonna actually you gonna actually pick up the phone and do something, do something? Hmm. Damn it, you know, man. because if not, I mean, this stuff just don't go away. No. Once you allow this, then guess what? Then they're gonna add something else. To compound what they've already done, done. Well, if we allow that, that's almost like the biggest pillar to like take take on. Once they get that, it's all super easy domino effect from there. You know what I mean? Very easy. Mm. Yep. You know, hundred percent, uh, Steve. You know what? Just to go back a little bit on that, when I was talking about that uh that that Operation Stellar Winds back in. Um, back right after right, right 9-11 when they put that, that was a part of the Patriot Act the Stellar Wind was part of it. Yep. So I'm going to give you this little information. Between 2003 and 2006 three years the FBI had issued 193,499 national security letters. Okay. Now these letters were uh, were emails or texts that they had sent out all over to get access to your phone records, bank records, computer records, credit history, citizenship, everything. They sent out 193,000. Oh, shit. To get information within a three year period of time. Now, those letters were issued by the FBI without a judge's approval to obtain personal information. So they didn't go to no judge and say, hey, I need you, I need you to sign this so that way we can go and get this information. They mm -hmm. sent these letters out all over the place because dealing with that particular Patriot Act, they were allowed to do that. They were allowed to get a copy of every email, every text that you had ever done any sale carry 
any one of them for them to be able to use at any time. So they probably got emails from me back five years ago to come back yep. and use. Well, you remember you said this? You remember this one right here? Yep, it's like bringing up it's like bringing up old like ten year old tweets on Twitter. You know what I mean? Like it's there, and once it's there, it's there forever. You know? Right, right. It's like you know, how many times have you been on Facebook? As soon as you go on there, it'll show a memory that you've done six years ago or seven years ago or whatever. You know, like the other day, I was sitting here talking to someone about an exercise bike. Just random conversation talking about our exercise bike, not on the phone. Was not on the phone talking about it. Hmm. Sitting in the house talking about this exercise bike. I go on Facebook. What's the first thing I see? First that advertisement you get. Exercise bike. That damn that same exercise bike was the first thing I seen on Facebook. Now, how many times has that happened? I mean, let's A be lot. real. A happens lot. all the time. I'll be speaking about something. I'll check my Instagram. Next thing I know. And my phone wasn't on like to where I was using it or nothing. All of a sudden I check it and I've got the same ad, the very first thing too. It's that ad that you were just speaking about 30 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. It's so wild how they, they are allowed to do that. Yep. Yep. So I was, like I said, I'm sitting there and I had a 20 minute conversation. I was talking about different, different things about the exercise bike. I was talking about some other stuff that I was doing, other stuff I was looking at. I was, and when I went on Facebook, every single thing that I talked about, I seen within three minutes of me scrolling. Everything. Mm -hmm. So that right there, tell you, they nosy as hell. Now you can imagine how nosy it's going to be if they sign it. It's going to be 10 times worse than that. Oh, yeah. No, if we thought that was bad, this is literally enhancing it by like, Thousand times it seems like. Right, Damn. right. Y'all better learn sign language and be up in there. In your yeah, camp. and even then, oh, even then they're going, yeah. "Hey, enough with that. We see what you're right, doing." Right, right, right. Then they send you an email. Stop doing that. We yeah, see. Yeah, for real. <laughs> we, we know what that means too. Yeah, we saw you in your house uh, signing over. You know what I mean? And, and now we know you're a gang affiliate. <laughs> You know, there's all sorts of weirdness, man. I, I don't I don't know if this is going to be something that we can actually escape or run from if this passes. You know, this seems, it seems crazy, okay? So let me tell you something else that you didn't know. Let me tell you something else. Oh, so, man, do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, maybe. So, mm -hmm. okay, um, it's kind of something that... It happened at one time. It came around full circle, right back to the same person. Okay, kind of like a boomerang. Threw it out, went around, came back, same person. Now, the the um, the actual Patriot Act was signed after nine eleven, right? Right. Okay. What if I told you that the Patriot Act was actually written? Way before. Oh, my God. No way. Way before 9-11. Way before. So they, they have that ready for any type of craziness that happens within the country, and they knew as soon as something like that happens that they could easily pass this. A lot of the stuff that's in the Patriot Act came from a, a bill that was written. It didn't, it didn't go anywhere. It didn't go to the House or the Senate or anything like that. It was written. But it was prepared. Right. It was already prepared. It's like all most packaged stuff, up, ready to go, you know? Right. And most and just about everything that was dealing in the Patriot Act was in this, this paperwork that was done in 1995. Okay? Now. 1995. 1995. Now, with this bill here, if it gets, like I said, it went through the House, if it passes the Senate, it goes to the goes to the White House. President Biden is going to sign it. He already said he's going to sign it. He right? did. Yep. Okay. Now, in 1995, when they wrote, when the original Patriot Act was actually written, it wasn't called a Patriot Act, none of that. It wasn't even used for that. It was just written. Who was the person that wrote it? Who? Joe Biden. Get out of town. He wrote it in 1995. 
Holy shit. And they no used way. what he wrote. Like I said, it was not a bill. It did not go across the house and none of that. It was a bill that he wrote out that he never did anything with. When well, the Patriot Act was part, they used most of the stuff that he had in that he had wrote down into the Patriot Act. And now you go in full circle. Basically, this this is like TikTok bill slash Patriot Act 2.0. Totally. The same person is involved. Same person no, that was wasn't, involved. Wasn't he in the Senate for like 47 years or something ridiculous? Yeah, the same, I mean, like I said, the same people that was doing this stuff here is the same people that's still here now. Mm -hmm. Now, let me say this. I <laughs> am not a Republican. I am not a Democrat. I am independent. I don't give a damn who's there as long as they're there to do their job. Yep. But I'm telling you that particular thing there, that is not, just like Heather Mo said, that is not a coincidence that that took place. This stuff is going full circle. This stuff this was planned. Been, this has been planned. It's mm -hmm. been planned for a long time. Now you just in the now you at the point that you can actually use it. Mm -hmm. But it's been done. It's been going on. Unreal. Unreal. Can I even believe it? I can't believe that that Joe Biden was actually the person to be writing at least the majority of the Patriot Act. I mean, that's insane. And that's crazy that I did not even know. It's wild. No. You would think that that would be something that is wide, you know, widely known. Guess not. Right. You know what? And tell you the truth, I wouldn't even have known that until I was, uh, I was reading some stuff throughout the week. I forget exactly what it was I was reading. And it was talking about it. Mm. I was reading up stuff about the Patriot Act because I was trying to see what you're almost like a comparison of the two. Right, right. Like this is this is like the upgraded version of this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To where you this one here basically took a lot of your civil liberties. This one here is taking all your privacy. You know what I mean? So basically you can't do nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're gonna have eyes on you no matter where you at. At any given time, you know what I mean. When they say "Big Brother watching," oh yeah, he watching. He watching. Like, don't take your phone in the bathroom, <laughs> dude. For real, you know what I mean? for real. Don't don't take your phone in the bathroom. Don't put no TV in your bedroom. None of that. You know what I mean? Because they're gonna be sitting there watching you while you dude, sitting there sleeping. Freaking or getting weird. Your on, they watching you. No, so don't do nothing too nasty in there because they're gonna come get you. For real, you start <laughs> you start doing some BDSM or something like that. Right, right. You, don't you getting picked up? Don't do too much. They're gonna come get your ass. No choking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you in there? You 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 in there the whole time? It's consensual. I agree. Don't come. We both <laughs> said yes. We right. both said yes. Right. It's cool. It's just That's a baby so joke. It ain't too hard. It's good. <laughs> Oh man. Yep. This is what what we've gotten to, y'all. This is this is America now. <laughs> All right, right. You know what I mean? I just made that little joke right there, but that's but I'm dead ass serious though. This is, Get for real. Yep. This is, this is ridiculous. Okay, now okay, now think about this. Now, you know, we do this show, you know, you're a content creator just like me. What happens to us if this bill takes place? Because now you definitely ain't going to be able to say what you want to say. You definitely not going to be able to sit here and speak out on some of the stuff that's going on because, like I said, the way they have those definitions of set course. up, they can make anyone anyone a terrorist and come at you. So, you got to think. It's a lot of it's a there's there's a lot of moving parts there. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of moving parts, you know what I mean? And it's like it's not like you can okay, I'll settle for this, and I don't want none of this. Mm -mm. It's all coming together. This is all a package deal. You don't just get bits and pieces of you. You don't get the whole damn thing. So we're just getting wiped 
on basically our rights completely almost. Yeah. That's insane. I mean, if, I mean, if you you take it, if the if, if the first one took most of your civil liberties and there was a blatant, a blatant violation of the Constitution, and then you then you do this one to where you have you have zero privacy. So are we essentially losing the Fourth Amendment at this point? You're basically losing everything because because they're 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 slowly taking all away. the freedom that you think that you have. They are slowly taking it away. They're slowly taking it away, but a lot of people just don't even realize it because they're not even paying attention to it because they think everything is just is just status quo until something happens. You know, that's just you ever seen people that's like. Like you could tell them that something's going on, and they'd be like, "Ah, oh, man, I don't care about that." This and third, until it happens to them, then they want you, you know, right here. Okay, what is it I can do to help? Totally. But when this man had this going on, though, you didn't give a damn Accurate. because it wasn't you. Okay. Now this is a situation here that it's not going to be just you. It's going to be everybody. You know, now, of course, you know, they're going to be able to find ways to get out of it. You know what I mean? They're going to find ways to get out. They of always it. do. Right. On everything. But they're going to double down on your ass, though. You know what I mean? So now you become basically a slave in your own damn home. You're a slave mm -hmm. anywhere else you're going to fucking be because they're going to watch every damn thing you do. And Monitor the 24 the way, Or you do something out the way, then they're going to come get you. Because according to this bill, they have the right to do. Unreal. And they max that under this TikTok shit. Make everybody think, okay, well, we're going out to TikTok. And we're doing something righteous. Right, right. We're trying to protect national security. We're, we're, we're saving you guys. We don't want this nowhere in the U.S. We don't want them saving, getting your, your information. We don't want them doing nothing. Yeah, you don't want them to get it. But you trying Man, to get I'm, I'm going to be quite frank. I'd rather have the Chinese government have my info than have the government here have my info. I mean, at least over in China, they can't do anything to me personally by law. You know what I mean? And have me cooped up in my own house as a slave being monitored 24-7. We might be monitored in China, but honestly, that does zero effect to me. You know what I mean? So it's almost like I don't care if, if it originally was information was going to China at this point, I'd rather that than to actually have all this happen in a bill. No, thanks. Mm -hmm. yep. They made something big out of nothing. Right. Right. You know, but they use, they use fear. Fear because is, fear is, is the foundation of most government. Yep. I mean, you ever heard that? Fear is the foundation of most government. That was said by John I've Adams. I've never heard that, but it doesn't surprise me. It definitely makes sense. Yeah. He wow. said this back, <laughs> yeah. you know, ages ago. You know what I mean? Because they all, I mean, this is all, this is all done by design. Everything is done by design. This stuff has already been planned. This stuff has already been talked about years ago before it even taken a step wow. because they know. How many times do I got to say, as long as they keep you divided and distracted, they can do whatever the hell they want to do because yep. you're not paying attention. So they throw this other stuff up for you to for you to pay attention to, like, like oh, look, squirrel. And everybody turn around and look over everyone here. Everyone looks over here now. Over here. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's exactly what they're doing. Like, wake up, people. Look at this. You know what I mean? Pick up the phone. Call these representatives. You're going to have to because I'm telling you. Otherwise, your we're life, doomed. Your life, my life, your kids' life is at risk. Uh, so it's so like we have no option. This right here, you let this pass here. <laughs> That's when society goes down completely down the drain. Um, yep. Just like technology, we have the scraps and are so far behind what is new. Yeah, that too. You know, I mean, a lot of it's just a distraction piece, you know what I mean? Rather than technology booming. Um, I mean, it obviously has come a long way in the last 20, 30 years, of course. Um, but it's for sure uh, a, a way to control 100 um, percent 
um, yeah, I, I feel terrible for everyone, and, you know, that's going to be affected by this if this passes, which is everyone in the United States. Um, I don't know how this is really going to blow over. I, I would hope that Congress gets a clue and doesn't pass this, but, you know, what, at this point, it's almost like we're, we're almost too little too late. Seems like anyways. But you still have the opportunity to still call your representatives, call them. And there's lists. So, I mean, you're able to contact these people that they're, you're supposed to be able to. So, yeah, right, absolutely right. contact these call people. Call them, blow their phone up. Yep. Let, let all them know. You know what I mean? While you're getting transferred along the way, let them know. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it has to. I mean, it has to. It has to get out. Okay. I mean, because you have to think this is by far one of the biggest things that you would ever have to deal with. And I believe that to be a true statement, by the way, if this passes or not, it's still going to happen. I believe that. Right. You know, because even if they go, let's say, for instance, that this works and the Senate don't agree to it. Right. Now, who's to say that you don't turn around and come up with another bill? And yeah. try to sneak it in. It'll anything. happen eventually. You don't know that you don't know anything about it. That's why I say you have to be more proactive about what's really going on here. Everybody's worried about Biden and Trump. Don't worry about Biden and Trump. Worry about the House and the Senate. Right. Worry about them because they're the ones that's coming up with these bills and coming up with these laws. Mm -hmm. These are the lawmakers, ones being regulated. man. But when you see them, what do you see them do? They point fingers at them. Yep. Hey, it was oh, that guy's fault. Right. Oh, Biden did this. Trump did this. Obama did this. No, they didn't. Do it. They did this. Mm -hmm. Put the blame where it's supposed to be. You did this. And they're going to continue to do it. They're going to continue to do it. Until it gets passed, essentially, because that's ultimately what they're pushing for. I mean, you have to start paying attention. You know what I mean? Because if you go on that site, if you go on congress.gov, if you go on that site, you can see everything on there. It'll tell you all the new stuff that they're coming up with, everything. It'll, it'll show you. Read them. Look at it. Man, this is unsettling. I mean, as don't, you know I mean, like, don't mind the front part. Don't mind the front part. Because the Restrict Act is just... You right. know what I mean? And actually, and actually, to tell you the truth, the only thing dealing with the actual restrict act is that they're telling them you either you either sell your company to someone else that's not Chinese, sell it to somewhere else, or we're gonna just ban you from the whole country. Mm -hmm. That you ain't gonna be able you ain't gonna be able to put it nowhere in the United States. It's not gonna be played here. So that's what the restrict act basically is in a nutshell. Okay, so how many pages you do you think that's probably? If I had to guess, you know, if I had to guess, maybe? it probably originally, honestly, started around 10, 15 pages, which is about normal. And then to have it ramp up to probably 200 plus pages. Right. Most, right. Because most of this, most of the other part of this is concerning this stuff right here. It ain't mm -hmm. concerning them. It's not even concerning them. Because basically, on their part, it's either sell it or we're done with you here. Yep. The rest of it is like, okay, so while we're doing that, and we're going to tell them, okay, well, you ain't going to sell it. Okay, cool. So we ain't going we to let you play here no more. And then we're going to sit here and we're going we're gonna to go through everybody's phone. We're going to go through everybody's computer, yep. the laptop, the video games, the ring, the bell ringer. Hell, we're going to go through every single damn thing that they got, and we're going to listen to everything that they got to say. And we're going to record everything that they do. And without consent. Without consent. Mm -hmm. We don't have to tell you nothing. We can do whatever we want. They can just essentially do. steal what we're doing and saying and all this crap and just can monitor us without us saying a single word. Great. Exactly. Exactly. Because I can go ahead and I can get my get my uh, chairman and they can have a closed door meeting with his little staff and they can decide what's what's appropriate and what's inappropriate mm -hmm. that's going on and whatever they decide then that's basically what it is 
crazy. You know, you know, to make a long story short, this world going to shit. Yeah. It really is. It really yeah. is. It's going to shit. Yeah, I, I really don't know what other than just because I'm always a solution type of person. I'm always going, okay, well, what can I do? But really, we're kind of limited on what we can do aside from bugging the Congress people, you know, calling the representatives, all that stuff. So there's really not much else that we can do. And then there's that worry of, okay, well, let's say this gets overturned. This doesn't happen. But but let's say vote no happens. But now we're looking at, okay, well, now we've got to be super um I guess with it and understand what's coming in the next bills and coming in for the next forever. Really, we really should be on top of it because this is what they do constantly is pork this shit. Right. So man, I, I feel like this is, we're at a point where let's say it doesn't pass right this second, just like the chat said, I'm worried that eventually within like a five year window, Boom. You know what I mean? And and this is really, really scary, not only for my life, but my own daughter that has to grow up with all this crap. Exactly. She's not even 20 months yet. Like now I got to deal with this for the rest of my life. Exactly. You know, Crazy. this is all like I like like I said earlier, this is all by design. It's all by design. Control there, aspects there is stuff control you. Right, there is stuff that's in action, that's in motion right now, that has been planned for years. Well, and that was something that since we talked about the Patriot Act, you know, being, you know, though implemented in 01, but for us, we we had that already written and, and started at least in 95. I wonder how long, how many years the Restrict Act has been and basically started or started writing into, you know, this bill. I wonder how long they've prepared that. I bet mm, you it's been I a don't minute. know. I don't know. I forgot. You know what? I'm I bet to... you it's been a minute, though, for sure. Right, off the top of my head, I'm trying to remember who the two senators was that came up with that because it was a bipartisan. It was a Republican and Democrat that came up with that bill. Mm. I'm trying to remember the name right off. Like I said, I'm a lot of yeah, time. that's like, wild. I'm, I'm back with a lot of useless information. You know what I mean? So a lot of times I'll be just like I'm cycling. No, you I'm you going. you take in things. you take in a, an absurd amount of information per episode. You know what I mean? So I I definitely can't um you know be bummed out if you don't remember one little thing. For, that's for damn sure. I know everyone can look it up though. Right. I remember the main parts of it though. <laughs> I remember no, that, that. It, dude, this that's, is insane. This is insane. Yeah, this is crazy, man. It's um, like I said, this is this, this is deep. Like I said, this this show here, actually, I was going to talk about a couple of different things that it went on or whatever, but you know, this one here was like, okay, nah, this one here is more is more important. Hundred percent. You know, it's a it's, it's an immediate pressing it. issue right now. Right, right. Because you need to like fully understand this is what's going on. I mean. Think about it. You can think you can turn around and face up to 20 years in prison. Just for using a VPN? And up to a million dollars in fines. Dude, who's got a million you know dollars? I mean? Who's got you know a million I mean? dollars? I mean, think about it. Like, man, this is this is crazy. This is it's crazy. Wild. You basically it's wild. giving them you, you basically giving them unlimited power to do whatever they want to do. Yep. That's do, you're literally calling a spade a spade. That's exactly it. They're going to be given all the rights to our shit now. It's crazy. Mm. I don't. I it, this is one of these that is uh, extremely concerning, and I wish there were more solutions that me as an immediate person can deal with. And uh, unfortunately, it's not that easy. You know, um, we might have to call a hundred different senators. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's crazy. Absolutely mind boggling. What do you think about this whole, in, in the whole, did you see something like this coming to the United States? Did you think that the Patriot Act was where it was going to end? We thought that was bad yeah. enough. And I think it was going to end just with the Patriot Act. Basically, yeah. I mean, w once the Patriot no. Act was, you thought it was going to go further and further forever, basically. 
Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because there's a term to all of these. You know what I mean? So you knew that okay, this ran out in 2020. You got to think about right. when it started. So that was essentially 25 years ago yeah. that they wrote it. It was implemented 23 years ago. Yeah. So, dude, that's mind-boggling to me. Because mm. you think that, okay. So, 9-11 started when? September 11th, 2001. Okay. The Patriot Act was signed 45 days later in 2001. It didn't end to 2020. So, 19 years. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, you had 19 had years yep. of the Patriot Act. Okay. Holy shit. Now, when it ended in 2020, they didn't put nothing else in place. Curious. Now. Curious. I don't know if you know the answer to this, but when it stopped in 2020 or when it ran out, expired, whatever you want to call it, in 2020, could they not use any of what they've been using in the Patriot Act on any of us since then? Well, or do they no. have like an extension of being able to still use what's in the Patriot Act to this day, essentially? Okay, so let me tell you this. Not everything from the Patriot Act ended in 2020. There is still oh. there's there's still clauses that can be that, that can are be still being ended. that are still not expired right. type. Right. They, right. They still so hold they passed, right. So then that's when they pass the Freedom of Information. Okay, all that kind of coincides with it as well. Okay, so it didn't. So the Patriot Act didn't just end in 2020. Certain parts of it ended in 2020. Man, this is messy. So this messy. year would just be just basically an add-on to what's already to what you already have. So we're just enhancing it. We're enhancing it to the point where we're putting it on steroids by a hundred times, and just going to go ahead and now it's not just phone recordings and texts and stuff like that. Now it's every bit of basically technology. Right, right. Everything dealing with technology as a whole, they can get access to it and be able to, you know, and actually use it against you. You know, there was a there was a documentary that I had seen uh, a couple of days ago where there was a, um, uh, you know, they passed a law not too long ago where. Um, like if you was a government official or something like that and you and you started telling information that you was allowed mm -hmm. to do it without being locked up. Um so mm -hmm. they had one of those guys that was on a on a show. Um as a matter of fact, his name was uh Sean Ryan. You know who Sean okay. Ryan? Sean Ryan has a podcast. He has a lot of people on that. Um a lot of these whistleblowers and stuff like that. They he has on there and they be telling everything you know and this one particular one that they were talking to he was saying how he had um he had taken everything that was electronic out of his house he doesn't have any TVs in there. doesn't keep his phones in there he doesn't do he, he kept everything that that was electronic he took out of the house so he almost went to uh i'm trying to remember the name of those people that uh, now I'm, I've I've just lost it, but the name of somebody that basically lives with no technology, lives in a barn, you know, just works. went off grid. Yeah, basically, just, basically, basically. Yeah, he went off grid, and he doesn't deal with anything electronic at all because Amish. That's knew, what I meant. Because, because he knew about this. Because he knew about this stuff right here that was going on. Actually, he was talking about this. So he was like, "Well, you know, I don't even, I don't even deal with electronics no more. I got rid of all of it." Mm. So he said, "Because if I don't have any electronics, I don't." They can't. Use. Right. Yeah, I mean, how are they really going to know that you even exist if you're off the grid like that? They're not. You know, I mean, I'm sure they have their ways. I'm sure they have their ways because the government's the government, but that's your best luck. And also not to be monitored 24 seven. You know, it's one thing when we walk out of our houses, we accept that we're going to be on tape. We're going to be, we're accepting that we're being recorded, whether it be dash cams on, on cars or it's uh, ring cameras on doorsteps, but that's outside. 
in your own home and the privacy of your own home that you bought or you rent or you pay for, now the government is just basically a tenant for free. They get to listen in on every one of your conversations now. Like to me, that is absolutely nuts. Nuts to me. Right. Right. You know, so it's frustrating as all hell. Just know that if this takes place, then, you know, don't say nothing. Right. <laughs> For real. Because this is this is really whatever you say can and will be used against you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 100%. Anywhere. Anywhere. Drones and satellites are how they invade invade us off grid, then fly around and survey uh, visually. Yeah, I believe that too, one hundred percent. And like like I was saying, they'll find a way, you know. And Ghost Eagle says uh, they have devices that are connected to Alexa, and that records everything. I believe that. I believe that. I've actually seen that now a couple of times in the chat since we started this live. But I also knew that that was a possibility. Because if anything that you can talk to and it talks back to you, that right there, though I like the technology, and I even have an Alexa myself, um, it's definitely something that I'm going to be thinking about throwing away, you know, or giving away or something, you know what I mean? Because I don't know if I want that in my house at all. Mm hmm Yep. It's crazy. It's, and it's just going to get, like I said, it's just going to get crazy. If we let mm -hmm. this go through right here, it's going to get It'll, it'll basically be a wrap. You know what I mean? It'll basically be a wrap for us if this goes through. All we can do is hope at this point and get on the horn and uh, bug them, man. Let them know how unpleased you are, you know? As an American citizen, threatening without threatening. taxes here. You know, you what can be that? threatening without, without threatening. Right. I mean, you can let yes. them know. Like, okay, you know, you can go on both that if you want, but if you do, just know that uh, that when your turn come around, and it will come around. Right, and I'll be voting otherwise. You know what I mean? You're going home. Right. You, yep. you, you're going home. <laughs> yep. You're going home. And if you guys got a social platform, you know, kind of rub that in their face a little bit. <laughs> That's what I would do. I'd be like, man, I'm going to use my social media. You know, I got some following on there. They, they, they'll be pissed if I do that. You know, then by then, they'll probably contact – let's say one of these social platforms and then have me deplatformed. So that's probably realistically what would happen. But Heather Mo says, uh, your topic is fire, um, is hot fire. Our feeds are being cut off during the live. And now <laughs> you have said, you, you said that Heather and somebody else, you said it back here. And then Mickle said the same thing. So, like, right now, this kind of shit is, is you know, uh, this is the shit right here that actually freaks me out. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep, don't oh, go yeah, there. Oh, no, yeah, they can definitely still find you, SNS. Yeah, don't it's, go it's there. Like, you're not just blocked with a VPN or safe with a VPN. There's ways. Yeah. Matter of fact, matter of fact since, he, since he did that right quick, I was getting ready to end it. But since he, since sure. he put that, let me, put the, let me show you this just so that it answers it. his question. TikTok gets banned, would you still be able to use it through a VPN? So the answer to this question is technically yes, but there is a big problem. If you don't know, a VPN encrypts your internet connection and sends it through a server in a different country, which makes it look like you're in a different location. So if TikTok gets banned in the US, a VPN should at least let you use the TikTok website. The only problem is that most VPNs have pretty mediocre internet speeds, and if 150 million people are trying to access TikTok through a VPN, it's probably going to be straight up unusable. Plus, the government still has time to amend the bill and block VPN companies from being able to provide access to TikTok from in the US. I'm not really sure how they would do this, but this is the first time the US government has tried to ban an app, so no one really knows what to expect. And what's even crazier is that the bill is already going to be voted on tomorrow in the House, and it's probably going to pass. If it does, it'll then go to the Senate, where it'll probably also pass, and then finally go to President Biden, who has already said he'll sign it into law. If they pass it, I'll sign it. I don't think these lawmakers truly understand how massive of a deal this is. Like if they actually ban TikTok, thousands of American small businesses were gonna have to shut down and tons of creators are gonna lose their careers. Luckily for me, I'm pretty established on other platforms, so I'll be okay, but there are some people who will literally have to start from scratch. Let me know what you guys think about this whole thing down in the comments. Yeah, I know a lot of people that use TikTok as a main platform and then really don't use any other platform 
And I would be extremely bummed out if I were them. You know, I mean, I still use TikTok. I still use it as, as a platform and I still post on there and go live on there, but it's not my main one. So yeah, I'll be okay theoretically, but it's unfair not only to me, even though it's something that's, um, that is not my main platform. It's still unfair to me and it's unfair to every American citizen as well. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, man, it's, uh, <laughs> I'm telling you brother, this is, this is going to. No, it's, this is, this is some freak shit, man. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm not stoked on this whatsoever, but I'm, I'm really glad though that we discussed this because I didn't know to the level or the extremity of this. I knew that there was something that, oh yeah, they, they threw some shit in the bill or whatever. And I heard that, but to actually watch and break down this stuff with you and learn what you have researched, it's, it's impeccable. I'm, I'm glad that we talked about it, even though these are not the things I want to hear, but it's good to be informed. You know what I mean? It, it may be uncomfortable, but it, you need to be informed. And that's, all the, the one of the biggest reasons for the diamond effect in itself keeping you guys informed with what's going on right and that as you see being the fact it was knocking people off the feed and all that so they tell you right there that they they listen they listen to what we're talking about mm -hmm. so, so if they Wild, uh, man. put it like this if he wasn't telling the truth about it they wouldn't care that right there. Lying about it, they wouldn't care. You're right. You're right. So they got something to hide on purpose. They know they know what would happen if this got out to the mainstream and then people heard essentially what we just broke down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's a reason why they're hiding this shit. I mean, it's right there. We just watched it. Why hasn't anybody else broken that down for the American people? You know what I mean? Like, why isn't CNN, Fox, CBS, NBC, CBS, every one of them going, hey, American people, citizens of America, check this out. Unreal. You do realize that, that, the, uh, that the top news stations, they're all owned by three people. And they control what's being seen and what's not being seen. That's why when you turn on the news, the only thing that you hear about is, is somebody dying, somebody getting ready to die, Trump, um, somebody mass shootings, Gaza, Israel, Ukraine. That's what you hear. They don't talk yep. about nothing else. Nothing else. So yep. if you watch the news all the time and you watch MSNBC and CNN and all that. They all going to talk about this. And then they talk about a lot of politics, but they don't talk about this stuff, though. Yes, of course not. They talk about other stuff that's going on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because they're already they're already telling them, like, no, you, you no, you ain't gonna, you gonna let that go. You, you talk right. about this, don't say nothing about this. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah, you guys are allowed to speak on this on America, but you're not allowed to talk about any of this. You know, I mean, that's essentially how it is with all these platforms. I mean, you saw me. I just got demonetized off of what I th would think that is literally no big deal. But this is exactly what the media wants. You know what I mean? Is to essentially, when you take down the small creator, the people on TikTok, stuff like this, that are exposing the, the government and exposing what's happening in this country and around the world, naturally... They're going to look at us as, as just liabilities to the country and to them. So what do they do? Well, take away my money. Shut up. Take away the platform. Shut up. You know what I mean? And that's essentially what they've done and what they, they realize. Oh, this is exactly how other social media companies work and blah, blah, blah. And they, they, they correlate all this. I can guarantee it. I can guarantee it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're going to see. We're going to see how this play out. Like I said, we've been. We've been on here for an hour and a half. Sure have. You know, I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna say this a little bit. I'm gonna let you say yours. Absolutely. But, um, what I want to say to everybody is, I hope you all paid attention to what we was talking about tonight. For real. Because this is this is real. 
this is real. And if you don't pick up the phone and call your representatives and talk about this particular bill, S-686, restriction bill, restriction act, if you do not talk about this, if they pass this bill, I've already told you and I've already showed you what's going to happen. This is, this yeah. is not a game. This is not a joke. Okay. Now, with this video, you ones, you ones that's watched this, share this to people that hasn't, because they need to see this video. They mm -hmm. need to see what we're talking about here, because everybody needs needs to get involved with this. So we need so, everybody. Right. So, uh, with that being said, like I said, I've 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 spoken my piece today. Hey, man. Um, thank you for bringing this topic to light. Um. You know, you, you come up with these topics every week and it's it never ceases to amaze me with the things that we talk about, the things that we uncover. Uh, I always learn something new. Even though I'm a co-host on the show, I learn something new every show. And that's something that I love uh, in particular of this show. Um, and for everyone else, you know, take what was talked about today and really, really, you know, um, sit back on it and go, okay. Maybe I shouldn't just sit back and allow whatever to just happen. Getting involved is probably your best bet because if you don't, it's just going to, of course, it's going to pass. It's up to us to stop that kind of shit. Um, for every one of you guys that were in the YouTube, in the chat today and the Facebook group, all that watching, we cannot do this show without you guys. We thank you very much for, for hanging out with us. And, um, you know, real quick before we head out, guys, if you would like to please uh, donate to the show. We got Archbishop's um, stuff right here, his TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and his cash app, uh, dollar sign Bishop 8752. And then for me, I've also been completely demonetized off my off the YouTube channel. Uh, so anyways, all donations that whether they happen now and then whatever that are always read live on the stream. Let's say we end. Well, guess what? We'll be shouting it out on the next live. Nonetheless, that is my um, stuff to donate at cash app dollar sign ball valve Venmo uh, at ball valve. So with that being said, man, I cannot thank you guys enough for being here. And uh, Hey, we're going to see you guys in seven days, man. Much love and respect to everybody. Archbishop. And I'll see you in a, in a little bit. Thank you again for this topic, man. We, we really needed this. So nonetheless, I'll see you guys here. And uh, we'll both see you guys. And in, in, uh, well, look at that. Look at that. I'm going to give it to you. Boom. <laughs> there we go. You got to love the MacBook iOS stuff. With that being said, guys, thank you for being here. And we'll see you guys in a, you know, seven days. See you soon.
Eventually, I'm gonna be free. 